So in our research uh, so far, we have decided to record our top 10 lessons and want to share those uh, with you today. So the first one is to use number lines and rectangles or ribbon representations. We think it is important to provide students with tasks in relevant contexts, such as cutting ribbon for decorations, baking half recipes, which allows them to make connections between the model and the context. Using number lines and rectangles and ribbons as representations empowers students in their learning both within fractions and across grades and other content areas. Kathy's going to show us on the number line how we can place fractions along the number line which helps us understand that a fraction is a number. Working with a number line allows students to see that a fraction is a number and also to connect that learning across different number systems such as decimals and also uh, integers and into secondary school where they learn about radian measure. Our second lesson learned was to emphasize unit fractions. This includes naming unit fractions, counting by unit fractions, and also helping students just to understand the differences between unit fractions. Kathy, you have an example for us? I sure do. When I'm counting these unit fractions, I'm saying one one-fifth, two one-fifths, three one-fifths, four one-fifths, five one-fifths, six one-fifths. And it really allows me to go over the whole number easily because I'm thinking about the unit fraction. Our third lesson learned is to have students partition shapes and paper folding to make sense of equipartitioning. Paper folding is rarely done in schools and we think we should bring that back. The fourth lesson learned is that we really need to be reading fractions as a number, not two numbers. The fraction represents one quantity and so we need to read that as one quantity. So rather than saying one over two, we talk about one half. Rather than talking about three over four, we talk about three fourths. The fifth lesson learned is to punctuate the instruction of fractions throughout the year and to incorporate it into other strands um, in your program. Uh, we found time and again with our uh, teacher researcher teams that by punctuating the instruction, coming back, circling back to fractions over time, that made a really big difference. The sixth lesson learned is that we need to find a common unit rather than a common denominator that helps students to connect to their prior knowledge of units, including uh, thinking about measurement and place value. The seventh lesson learned is to mix proper and improper fractions in tasks because it reinforces that a fraction is a number and allows students to connect to their understanding of other numbers including whole numbers. So we want to use unfamiliar fractions with students as well. We often use fractions such as a half and a third and students demonstrate what appears to be understanding but asking students to represent less familiar fractions such as four-sevenths, as Kathy's doing here, may expose misconceptions and will certainly tell you what they do understand about fractions content. So you really need to listen carefully to students, let them talk, let them show you what they understand, and this will also tell you what they don't understand. Lesson nine is annotate fractions to help clarify the meaning of the digits. If you're describing unshaded areas of a rectangle, label the numerator as the total number of unshaded regions and the denominator as a total number of equal regions in the whole. And the last lesson learned that we'll share with you today, although there are many more, <laughs> is to ask students to explain their thinking. And we know this holds true for all of mathematics. But we think it's very important in fractions because we sometimes shortcut what we're trying to say when we're describing fractions. Listen carefully to what the students tell you and they'll help, uh, that will help everybody to understand more deeply what, what you're talking about and what fractions you're really uh, describing. And that's it. That's our top 10 lessons learned list.